you confused about wines? Do you pick the Cabernet or the Merlot? Well, now you don't have to choose because you can mix your own blend right at home. And here to show us how is the owner of Just Grapes, Don Strittrong. How are you, buddy? Good. How are you doing, Bill? So you are a corporate sommelier. That's right. What exactly is a corporate sommelier? Essentially, we do wine professionally for corporations, both on and off site. We handle wine education and make it simple for people. As wine has become you know, more common in the everyday arena, corporate executives need to learn more about wine, and we teach it. So when they go out to a, a fine dinner with clients, they know exactly what they're talking about, and it's... Exactly. One of our biggest seminars is how to navigate the wine list. Well, that's, that's, uh, you, a lot of people just buy, you know, go, buy, go to the price. Right. And they say, oh, it's $150 or $40 or whatever it is, and right. they, they make their selection that way. But you take away all the... Yeah, because as a result, the, the most myth. people will overspend. Because they're looking at right, price of rather than looking at They don't want to be qualities. cheap at the dinner table. Right, right, right. We teach you how to be more smart about your buying. But today we're actually going to do, um, we're going to blend our own wine. That's right. And that's becoming more and more popular. It is, it is. And people can actually blend their own wines and then they bottle it and give it as gifts. Yeah, yep. You have to do it within a period of time, obviously, because you've opened the wine. But right. it's, a, it's a unique way to, you know, give a gift. All right, well, let's start, let's start it up. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to, you know, try to put together... Uh, five, three to five wines that are as close to 100% of you know, various grape types. Okay. The most common ones are called Bordeaux varietals, which is what we have in front of us. Okay. After you pour the glasses, you want to basically taste and assess kind of what your opinion of the wine is. So why don't we do that? Let's do that. All right. I like that. <laughs> now, I have a question. Somewhere. When, when people do this, they're basically just checking the legs of the wine, right, to see how it runs down the glass. Yeah, that's one thing they're doing. The other thing you're doing is releasing the aroma. You know, my analogy with kind of swirling is basically expanding kind of what it smells like. You can smell it without swirling it, or you could swirl it and swirl it get more and aroma. And it just opens it up. Yeah, it's like turning up the volume on your favorite song. Well, the other, the other thing before we get into this, but the cork, when they bring you the cork, you're not supposed to smell the cork. No. You're supposed to feel it to make sure it's moist, exactly. right? Exactly. You there you're checking to make sure it was stored properly. It was stored properly, All okay. Right. All right, so. Give it a go. Mm. Smell. It smells great. Taste. Very nice. We actually have a, a chat question for you. Is uh, a wine blend an appropriate hostess gift? Absolutely. Absolutely. This is a kit called Fusebox that is a turnkey kit you can take home. So you can literally gift this and do this experience at home. Great. You want to probably do it later in the day than, than uh, 1130 here or whatever time it is. Right. <laughs> mm. so, as we right so we got the Cabernet. We, we had the Merlot. Right. Uh, Petit Verdot is the next thing you're going to have. So going through it, Cabernet basically, I mean, you make your own assessment on what you like and don't like. But Cabernet, kind of generally speaking, gives you the base. It's the foundation of the house. It okay. gives you backbone. It gives you tannin. So that's kind of what you're getting out of that one. Okay. Merlot traditionally gives you uh, lushness. It builds out the mid palate and gives you kind of a soft factor. Okay, so we're, when we, can we begin blending? Yeah, okay. let's do it. So let's start blending these. So we're going to take so this. So literally is a... take the pipette. Okay. If you know, you're at home and you don't have a pipette, you can do a measuring cup. All right. A pipette. A pipette. Very All right. technical. All right. Then take it just like a straw. Lean right over the glass. Really? I'm going to suck on this thing? You're going to suck right. on that thing. <laughs> suck it up to the number or percentage you're thinking you want to use. I'm thinking 50% is a good number, so bring it up to five. All right. And then dump it in the glass here? And then dump it in the glass. Very nice. Or if you want, you can just <laughs> have a little shot of wine. All right, so we've got 50% ca or five Cabernet yep. on the pipette. Yep. Then I would do 20% Merlot. 20% so Merlot. Two. Well, maybe we'll go a little heavier then. You want to get to, obviously, 100%. All right. I think I um, actually made a minor error. Uh -oh. I'm going to have to beef up the Cabernet. <laughs> Not a problem. I looked at the wrong, the wrong numbers. So. Yeah, you want to use... There we go, okay. The numbers you're looking at are these smaller numbers you're seeing on the front there. Okay, so we've got Cabernet, we've got some Merlot in here. Now, I can just go to the store and buy different bottles of wine and mix it together like yeah, this? Yeah, so this is a kit that you can get on its own, but you can go out and buy bottles. The idea, though, is you want something as close to 100% of the grape type, because a lot of wines out there are blended. You want something to, from the same region, ideally, mm -hmm. and then you want something in a similar price point. How much of the um, Verdot are we putting in? Uh, let's do 10%. So bring it up oh, to the one. All right. So Verdot will do one. Verdot is really kind of a, a spice depth and backbone <laughs> color thing. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Why do you have to let the wine breathe? We have a web question for you, and they want to know why do you have to let the wine breathe? Wine, it's just like uh, swirling. It opens up the wine. 
So the more you allow a wine to breathe, the more it's going to release its aromas. Come here, Coles. Oh, we'll give you a little my. head shake here. Ready? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we used, to, oh, we used to do this in college a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but Trini. I'm worried. Wait, wait, oh, no, 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 not on the. Uh, sorry. <laughs> oh, no. All right, so we're good here. All right, we're so we. Yeah, so yeah. once you get the I'm last good. component in. All right. This is a uh, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Wine made fun. Wine goes wild. Okay. Give it a good swirl. Smell. Yeah. Now, due to the magic of television, Stop. I've created. The Bill Rancic blend of wine. How nice! And I'm going to give you ladies a quick glass here. And what's the mix inside? Well, it's a uh, family secret. I cannot tell you that. <laughs> a little that bit of this, Taylor? a little bit of that. Right, right. It's from the Eduardo Dupandi uh, clothing store. <laughs> family trait. All ladies? Right, thank you so much. So we have to see. Cheers. Cheers. Look at the legs. Cheers. Cheers. Look at the legs of Go the wine. Go to inthelook.ivillage.com for more wine information and steps on how to blind, blend your own wine. Stay with us. We're not going away. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming on the show. Oh,